afternoon. My name is Peter Stetson. I teach high school science at Coventry High School in Rhode Island. Um, I use GIS in my class and I've begun to use Landsat 8 images. So this module is to help understand what the file names mean when you've downloaded a Landsat file. If you're like me, as you download things, it takes a while to get back to them. By the time I get back to them, it takes a little bit to decode what it is you've actually downloaded. So what we're going to do today is go through what's necessary for you to understand how one of these files is identified. You'll notice in the background that there is some images here. Uh, these images are Landsat satellite uh, photographs, uh, images that have been downloaded. So you're going to learn almost everything you ever want to know about Landsat file names, but I know you were afraid to ask. First off is a brief history of the Landsat satellites. It shows um, all the satellites that are, that are currently up in the air. Um, they're no longer receiving data from Landsat 5, but Landsat 7 and Landsat 8 are up there collecting data and sending information down. So this project has been on for a really long time. Um, lots of good information available. Where does the information come from when it, come, when it leaves the satellites? Well, you can see that the information goes down to a variety of ground stations. In the, at these individual ground stations, the information is collected from the satellites as they pass within their range. And then everything is transmitted to the Eros Data Center um, in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Part of the Landsat file is the Julian date. And it is a continuous recording of the dates since the beginning of the year. Uh, my birthday, February 8th, is uh, the 39. Um, and is the 39th day of that year unless there is a leap year in which case you've got to add a day. So that's why there are two separate um, sets of uh, numbers that are here. So you've got to first determine whether it's a leap year to determine overall what the uh, Julian date is. File is divided into uh, various parts. Um, as you can see from the screen, the L stands for Landsat. After that, um, the next set of information is the type of sensor that is there, the number of the satellite. In this case, it says Landsat 7. The next is the path and the row, which we'll talk about a, a little bit on the next slide. That is specifically where on the globe the information is that has been collected. And then the year, the Julian date, and the ground ID station where it has been collected and then the uh, archive version number. Path and row will give you the information that you specifically need for a particular site. Um, for example, this is Cleveland. The path is 19 and the row is 31. Um, you need to find that information out when you're selecting your Landsat images to be able to download. So it's good to know which specific paths and which specific rows you are going to be looking for within your individual area when you download some information. Landsat 1 was up in 1972 and 1978. It gives you some uh, information here about this. It had a multispectral scanner. Um, you can kind of get some basic information about the path on the row. This was a leap year, so the Julian date uh, shows up. Landsat 2 and 3 use the same file format as Landsat 1. Um, it was originally called the Earth Resources Technology Satellite, and it also used a multispectral scanner. The same thing for Landsat 3, known as Landsat C, and it also used a multispectral scanner. Landsat 4, they started to come up with a uh, more um, concise set of information about the individual Landsats. You'll notice that they have um, a, a multispectral sensor as well. 
but the Landsat satellite is listed as four. Um, this individual file was downloaded in uh, 1982. Landsat 5 is still up in the air, but Landsat 5 is no longer transmitting data. Um, it also had the multispectral sensor. It was launched in 1984, um, designed for three years, and it was just decommissioned um, in 2013. So it, it well outlasted its usefulness in space. If we could all get things that um, last as long as this, that would be awesome. Landsat 6, un six unfortunately never achieved orbit. Um, so we move on to Landsat 7. You'll notice that the uh, it has an enhanced thematics mapper, and the 7 indicates that it is a Landsat 7. Still in use today, it is about 8 hours ahead of Landsat 8. So as it passes through uh, the sky above us, it gets information about 8 hours ahead. So we can uh, look at the differences between the two. It again was designed for a minimum of five years use and we're well over that that number right now. Landsat is the current satellite that's up there. The Landsat satellite is collecting information and sending it down. Um, this is Cape Cod. You can look at the picture underneath. Um, you get a chance to see again that it is combining two different sensors a uh, OLI sensor and a TR, TIRS sensor, the operational land imager, and the th uh, thermal infrared sensor. And it is collecting information and transmitting it down. Um, again, designed for five year minimum of five years of use, but if the design specs hold out, then we're going to have this th uh, last for quite a number of years. Sources of information that we got from the for the background slides um, throughout the course of time, these came right from the uh, the Landsat um, web page that is hosted by the uh, USGS. Um, slide number eleven, the one right before the Cape Cod slide, was the first image from um, Landsat seven and happened to be Sioux Falls, South Dakota right where the uh, aerostatus center is. So you can get information about these. You can also see some of the information is listed here for some of the, uh, the Landsat web pages and the frequently asked questions about Landsat missions. And University of Colorado's Julian calendar calculator was where I uh, took the image of what the Julian dates were. Now, a little quiz. Let's see how you would do. Which Landsat satellites are still in orbit? What is the leap year Julian number for January 30? And why don't we have any images from Landsat 6? What does the path and row of a satellite image tell us? And what are the last three letters of a Landsat file? What do they indicate? And these are the answers. Landsat 7 and 8 are up there currently transmitting information. Landsat 5 is still up there, but not collecting data from it. The uh, Julian uh, number for January 30th would still be 30 because we haven't gotten past February 28th. Um, Landsat 6 never achieved orbit, so we don't have any images from that. It shows specifically, the path of row shows specifically where in the globe the image is from. And then what are the last three letters? They indicate the abbreviation for the ground station where the data was collected. I hope you enjoyed viewing this. I had uh, fun making it, and it's always nice to learn a little bit more about um, the satellite program that's currently up in space. Thanks for listening. Bye.